Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, this workout, we're focusing on sculpting those arms, those abs, and we're gonna kick up our cardiovascular system as well. The format is gonna be fast. It's 40 seconds of work, 10 seconds in between. I want you to grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout, and you'll just see listed below the dumbbells that I'm using in today's workout. You'll also see them listed after each exercise at the top of the screen during the workout. I'm gonna make this a no repeat workout today. That's gonna keep it even more fun. All right. We'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. This is gonna be good, it'll go fast. Are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. Very well, I'm gonna hit high intensity intervals because we're moving so quick and we're throwing that cardio in, we're throwing those arms and abs, no repeat. Woo, <laughs> should be fun. Looking forward to it. Dog is chewing on her pig ear right behind the camera, so hopefully you won't hear that throughout. <laughs> it's very crunchy and quite disgusting, but. Oh, Quentin bought her some treats and she's quite enjoying these ones. Three more here. Let's take it to a side to side lunge. All right, bring that shoulder toward the opposite knee. Up. Let's go into some heel digs, sweep the ground. One more here. We're gonna take it to the ground, plank position, and just some rotations, nice opening up into the chest for 10. Five more. Stay down here. Let's bring the leg up toward the hand, sink low, and big stretch here for a second. Just get into that hip flexor a bit, and the hamstrings, now switch. And switch. Last switch here. Let's swing into a wide stance here and touch the toes. Stay hinged forward, big arm circle here. Switch directions. And switch your side. Switch directions. Ouch, Take my leg. <laughs> Let's tap across right here. And up and over here. And finish off with your torso turn. Try to bring that shoulder right across the body there, or that elbow rather. Such a good back stretch, isn't it? Last four here. Nice. All right, are you ready? There's the first circuit or the first sequence. Let's start. Cardio to start. I'm gonna do a jack. Jack, side squat right there. There's your low impact. 
Otherwise, let's jump here and low. Two in the center and low. That's different. <laughs> I normally just do one, but now it's two, I guess. Nice, so I'm gonna grab fives just in my warm-up mode for that lateral and front combo. Shoulders back, and we're here, and switch. Pop it there. We'll take it to the ground for that plank walkout. Plank position, you can take this from the knees for a low modification, otherwise you're here. We walk forward, back and tap. We're gonna do a squat punch, knee twist, wide stance, and drop. You're here and here. Let's go. I'm just holding twos. Back to arms with my eight pound dumbbells in that crush complex. Curl, press, triceps. Here we go. Curl, press, overhead extension. That's it. All right, down into that plank position again, this time from the elbows, plank hip drop. You can mod from the knees, you just don't twist. And your left and your right. for that side lunge hop. All right, reach here, hop it here, 
Oh, just high knee. I'll call half, stay on this side. Last one on this side and switch. And into that tricep extension. I'll call halfway. I'm gonna use a 10 overhead here, flex right here. <clears throat> Last one here and switch. Grab those little ones again for a standing ab. All right, we're going to side crunch and then I'll call half and we'll switch legs. You're here, crunch. Bring that elbow to the outside of that thigh. Last one here, switch. back into cardio and we're gonna do a side shuffle or side walk all right stay low let's work you're here Into that Arnold press, I'll hold 12. I'm adding a squat. You can just stick with the Arnold press without the squat if you wish. And taking it to the ground. I'll hold the 112. We're gonna do an ab rollout. Rolling down super slow, then a sit up. So four, three, two, one, and sit. Eliminate the weight if you need. Stay down here for cardio. We'll hit those partial burpees down here. All right, I'm gonna use these to support my hands. We're jumping up 
to the side or walk it out to mod. Bicep curl, reverse grip press, and I'll hold these 12s. Palms are up, shoulders back. Down on the ground for abs. And we're going into that scissor, low to the ground. Hands under your bottom to support. Here we go, and scissor. You can go up higher, easier on the back. We're nice and low to the ground here. You'll stay down here for cardio, that rapid fire crab toe touch is coming up. Push your back to the ground. Three, two, one. All right, we're gonna sit up. Reach opposite hand to foot. You can stay here for a low impact. Here we go. All the way up and tap. Back and switch. That's it. You'll stay down here for triceps. I'm gonna hold the 12s. My tricep pressed, overhead extension, palms are facing. Here we go. Press it up and back, up and down. Stay down here for abs. Okay, I'm holding 112. We're gonna do a V-sit press. So it's a little ab, a little shoulder as well. Nice and balanced, and we press. You wanna modify, legs are on the ground, or feet on the ground, and you lean back a bit more. Otherwise, you're here. This is the last exercise before our rest. Okay, I'm gonna give you a 30 second water rest, and then we'll hop back up to the top for cardio again. Ten more seconds here, and nice flat back. Very nice. Okay, quick sip.
three point squat. We're gonna start narrow, a little wider, a little wider, and then back to center. There's your low impact. Start narrow, jump here, wider, widest, wider, and narrow. Thumbs up, front raise, I'll hold tens, single, single, double, shoulders back and cross the body. So you're here, other side. Now together. Good, I want you to stick your chest out, especially when you do them both. You're here, up. All right, a lot of front chest, shoulder, and pec muscles here. And dolphin plank from the elbows. Go up into pike position. Down to hover. Mod from the knees. Reach it up and hover. Up and hover. Frogs, you low impact one, two, frog it here and here. Up, one, two, drop one, two. Back to biceps, pinwheel curls. I got my 15s. Just taking out that whole top rack, aren't we? Here we go. Curl, flex. All right. I want your palm to face the ceiling on this one. Keep your torso facing the front. Okay, you don't want to do this. You're not rocking. You're just crossing like a concentration curl. Then you kind of squeeze that bicep at the top. Flex here. Standing abs with that knee drive reach. I'll call half. You're gonna extend it out, pull it in, round and crunch. Out and in and crunch. Pick a spot in front of you on the floor to just stay focused on. Slightly tippy at first. Don't hold your breath. Switch your leg.
All right, sticking with the single side thing, we're gonna go into a reverse lunge hop or high knee for low impact, tackle half, drive here. Last on this side and switch. I'll hold a 15 for the skull crusher there. You're here. Press. Flex. You're slow and controlled here. Grabbing a five for your starfish, pass under. All right, you're gonna tap, then pass under, and switch hands. You'll tap, and then up and pass. Other side, tap, and up and pass. We'll stand up for your cardio. All right, broad jump, three jacks back. You can giant step with the tap, 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 for low impact. Let's jump, land light. One, two, three. Right, back to shoulders. We're gonna do a lateral high front. And up, got fives. Up in that salute position and down. Down to the ground, bicycles, no weights, just elbow to knee. Modify with that elbow to knee tap. Otherwise, we reach low and slow. Let's go, let's go. Stay low to the ground. Crunch those obliques. Stay down here for mountain climbers, coming up. 
literally my least favorite exercise of all time. But I wanted something on the ground and that's what came into my brain. Tap it for low impact. Here we go. You'll stay down here on your back for Tate Press coming up. Okay, on your back. I'm holding 12s. Hold it up and away to the chest and then back up. You're here and flex at the top. Too light probably. Oh, that's because these are tens. <laughs> I thought they were twelves. No wonder. Ow. You're gonna stay on your back for that pistol crunch for abs, okay? Set those weights aside. Pistol, one knee bent, one leg straight. We're crunching chest to ceiling, leg on the floor to mod. You're up. I will call half on the leg. Reach to the ceiling, let's go. Don't pull your head up. The whole ab wall should feel this one. Lower and upper on fire. One more here and switch. We'll stand right here for high knees or climb the ladder. Okay, mod right here. Make sure there's no weights in your way. Here we go. Hammer curls, 15s for me. Palms facing the legs, straight up and down. Elbows in. Try not to swing at the bottom. Okay, come to a dead stop and then start. Standing abs. I'm gonna hold those fives for the um, figure eight. I always wanna call it crazy eight. You're here, let's go. Up and up. Keep it close to your body. You got another water break coming up, another 30 second rest. You can keep this going if you don't need the rest. And then join me when I'm back on the screen. Woo, 
fire, fire. All right, I'm holding just the twos for my jack front punch. There's your low impact. All right, let's work. You're here and here. Keep that core engaged. Don't pee your pants. <laughs> oh, squeeze. Oh my gosh. Holding fives for the eccentric polypin raise. All right, hinge at the waist. Out to the side and then a kick out. So we're up, we kick, slow down. Up, kick, slow down. Nice flat back. Take this one five to the ground. We're gonna do a plank and dumbbell drag. Mod from the knees and elbows, otherwise up to the toes. And we drag and drag. Traveling scissor with a frog. So you'll frog tap and tap, tap, tap for low impact. Otherwise, you'll travel two, three, fro, frog. <laughs> All right, grabbing 12s for my high pull. Single, single, double high pull. Stick your chest out. Up, other side. Now together. Nice. All right, abs, we're gonna do that plank walkout just like we did at the beginning. This time I want you to just take a little bit of a further stretch. So you're forward, forward, back tap, mod from the knees to modify. Modify from the knees to modify. <laughs> Someone's getting delirious. Reach it out if you can, don't slip. But the further you go, the more it lengthens through that core, 
the more you have to pull back to under the shoulders. Pull it back. All right, going into that sprawling frog kick. You can do jacks to modify if you don't want to be on the ground. Here we go. You're here, elbow to knee, then stand. Narrow and wide uh, bicep curls. I'm holding 12s. Palms up. back for that frog crunch. All right, feet together. We're gonna pop those hips at the top. The nice extension out in front. So we pop and extend. Now you can single leg extend for low impact. Try to keep your toes touching or heels touching and slow. Standing for those basketballers. All right, make sure you're not gonna trip on anything. It's a side shuffle. Squat and reach, low impact there. Shuffle here and jump. Shoot the basket. that sumo squat. Sits. All right, small package to mod. So you'll just grab your legs and extend. Otherwise, you're up right here.
Final round. Two jack squat jack. Boom, boom. Overhead hold there. That's low impact. Boom. Drop it low and overhead reach. Try some push-ups for your arms. These are always killer, I'm gonna need some handles. Elbows close, mod from the knees, which I'll do. Bring it low and press. Elbows are sweeping the body. Don't go down too far if you're using an elevated surface. Don't wanna target front shoulder as much. A little bit is targeted, but. Let's finish with abs, boat rocker, press. I'm gonna hold fives. Rock that boat. Here we go, you're here. Press to the ceiling. Finishing with a little bit of everything here. Let's work. seconds halfway fun little combo today great way to get the heart rate up train those arms and abs <sighs> maximize our time with a quick format like this push push let's go in three two one and done you move daily in your cardio arms and abs that was fun join down here for a stretch if you can Anyone else have a yard sale <laughs> around their mat? Oh goodness. Well, with a quick format, you gotta just you gotta just move, you know, no time to put things away. Knee is soft. Let's draw that towards us. Deep breath in, even that double inhale, the physiological sigh. Double inhale, slow exhale. Let's do that while we're just stretching the hamstrings here. And slow for six, five, four, three two and switch legs double inhale slow exhale for six five four three two one more time double inhale and slow exhale for six five four three two find six two fifty four thousand 3421.0 fm in your apple music library you can ask me to play a radio station I hate her. Feet on the ground, let those knees fall to the side. Keep your shoulder blades on the ground, okay? Uh, I'm gonna just grab my back of my hamstring and draw that up slightly. Nice little torso stretch here. Very good. Yeah, nice to have uh, just the variety sometimes, just switch it up. I do those, I fly by the seat of my pants on those ones, switch sides. So whatever comes, I tried to do like a shoulder, tricep, bicep, shoulder, tricep, bicep, standing abs, lying abs, high impact, low impact cardio. So again, a little something for everyone, but it does move fast. And some of you probably will say that was too fast. Up, down, up, down. I like it like that. I'm sorry. I do have slower ones, but this was a fun and fast, sweaty little ride. So that's what we did today. Let's grab the knees, little circles right here. That's it. Um, we're having this 30 solid, you're gonna get this. Maybe you're in the 30 solid challenge right now. Anyway, and so far, like cl close to 400 people have signed up. And <laughs> it's so funny, I just was messaging Kim saying, suddenly I have that little bit of an imposter syndrome, like who am I to teach these women anything? <laughs> Do you ever have that? Like I've done it a million times and still, 
there's that little voice inside that says, maybe you're not enough this time. Uh, so it's, it's interesting that you still, you know, no matter how much you grow and you open up that Pandora's box and explore it, sometimes those voices are still there. And yet I feel like, let's put the feet together, knees open and let that just fall. I feel like we choose the things in our lives that we need to wake ourselves up. And for me, if I wasn't having to put myself out there, if I wasn't having to uh, perform or speak or teach or coach in front of a group of people, I don't know that I would wake up to that part of me as much. And so it's interesting. I, I think it's necessary for me to grow in that arena and to believe that I am enough no matter what and that I have done my due diligence or that I have prepared to my best of my ability. And now we just let the chips fall, right? So much of what I want to do is curate everyone's response so that everyone is happy with me. And that's just that is <laughs> so unrealistic. And I know that in my head but sometimes my little Tracy doesn't know that. And she, I, I, that's where my wise self has to really come in and scoop that little girl up and say, we've got this and you're going to be just fine. And you are enough no matter what. Let's reach across. But it does not make me exempt. No matter how many times I've done it, you know, it does not exempt me from still having that inner voice sometimes just you know, not feel confident. Uh, but that's a part, that's a part of me. And I think it's so important to be compassionate to those parts, to welcome those parts even, right? To say, hey, you're welcome. You were here for a reason. You know, maybe that part always shied away from doing things that scared her because that felt safe. And so she's there for a reason. She's there to keep us safe. But if I want to grow, I must move out of that comfort zone and into my wise self who knows I've got what it takes. So that, that was just my little moment dilemma right before the stretch here because Kim messaged me and she said, almost 400 people and instantly I felt sick. <laughs> my stomach, I'm like, oh, so many people. Maybe I should put the uh, stop on the registration so that no one else registers. Uh, isn't that funny? Just those little fears. And yet she's like, you know what? You've done it before and you'll do it again. And uh, so I just had a moment with myself saying, you are enough. So if you need to hear that today, breathe that in right now with me. You are enough. Yes, you are. Thanks for joining. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition and I'll see you in the next workout.